Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at ceilings and floors. No, we're not getting into the architectural business, but we're going to take a look at the functions in Excel called ceiling and floor. If you remember a while back, we did one on the mod function. And what did mod do? You see the, the uh, formulas here. Um, what mod does is take a look at a quantity and then take a look at a, a packaging amount or a, a, a group that you wanted to uh, to group it by and then divides one by the other and gives you the remainder so in essence what the mod does is give you the remainder after you divide one number by another so in this case here's my quantity of inventory of these items here's my package quantity when I divide 1390 by 12 I have a 10 remainder left over instead of being able to have a complete package of 12. So ceiling and floor have a slight variation to that but can give you very similar results. In this case if I want to take the um, ceiling function and using this number and this significance and say okay what do I need to do or what number do I need to raise this to in order to give me equal packages of 12 and I copy that down you'll notice that the difference between the ceiling calculation <clears throat> and my quantity is going to be what I need to add to the remainder to get it back up to the full quantity I had 10 left if I add 2 I'll get it up to the full packaging of 12 15 I add 1 it'll get me up to 16 and so on and so on so what ceiling does uh, again if we take a look at the function itself it says that it'll rounds round a number up to the nearest multiple of significance so if this is the number I have and this is my number of significance it will round it up so I have even groups of my packaging 12 16 48 etc and then this is basically what I need to add in order to accomplish that floor is going to do just the opposite if we take a look at the floor function it says rounds the number down to the nearest multiple of significance so again I take my number I take my packaging amount and copy that down and now it'll drop it down to the number that will be below my uh, quantity down to what an even number uh, in, of my packages so again if I take my quantity minus my floor calculation it's going to give me exactly what mod gave me which was the what was left over after I divided my quantity by my packaging amounts 10 10 15 15 and so on so ceiling again will raise up the number based on the packaging quantity or the interval or your number of significance floor will drop it down to um, to a number that will give you an evenly divided by your number of significance or in this case our packaging quantity and there you go ceiling and floor and how they are similar to the mod function hope that's useful to you in your business or in your life and if you'd like to see more please go to my blog excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe happy excelling